In this video, I want to talk about some of the things related to the future of the channel, and I want to know your feedback about a variety of topics in that regard. As many of you know, I have been writing a series of books about institutional trading in a way that is accessible. Like I said many times, institutional trading involves a lot of prerequisites, and before I get to the actual strategies and methods, I need to write the books that review the basic prerequisites, otherwise nobody will understand the methods unless they have a degree in mathematics, statistics, and economics. Many people don't know this, but institutional trading and investing methods are not popular because they have entry barriers. In other words, you cannot even begin to understand the methods if you're not educated in several areas of science. For that reason, many traders believe that institutional trading methods are hidden from, from the public. But actually, the opposite is true. The classic methods and models used, used by banks and hedge funds are all available to the public, with certain reservations, of course. So, the problem is not that institutional methods are hidden and guarded. The problem is that most people won't understand them, even if they have access to these methods, because the prerequisites are taught in university-level education, and it's rare to find people with multiple degrees. The conclusion here is that if you want to understand these things, you have to study by yourself. All I intend to do here is to facilitate this process for you by creating a series of books that will teach you all the necessary prerequisites in a succinct way. It's also important that I do that in the easiest way possible. So I just wanted to show you what I have so far. The first book I wrote is a review of linear algebra. I managed to cover the basic knowledge of linear algebra in 115 pages. The book is fast to read and it focuses directly on the mathematical intuitions you need to develop to understand the basic linear algebra. The second book I just finished writing is a review of Calculus 1, which deals with the idea of, of functions, limits, and derivatives. Three basic ideas that are extremely important in finance. Sometimes you might be wondering what all, all of this has to do with making money in the markets, and that's a fair question. I will give you a few examples so you understand why this is important. In derivatives trading, whenever you want to trade zeroing certain types of risk, you will need to solve a system of linear equations with four or five variables, sometimes even more than that. The way to solve that quickly is by using matrices in the famous Gaussian el elimination algorithm. That's, a, that's an example of how you use linear algebra in trading. If you are interested in, in investing, for example, you will need linear algebra to calculate the optimal portfolio of stocks, to maximize return and minimize risk using modern portfolio theory. Calculus, for example, is extremely useful to understand how one variable changes in relation to another variable, and this serves to understand and hedge different types of risk in options trading. Calculus is also useful to understand the mathematical nature of price. My point here is that all of this has the final purpose of teaching you the best methods available to understand and trade the markets. So I finished Linear Algebra and Calculus 1. I just started writing the book on inferential statistics and probability theory. Then I will move on to Calculus 2 and 3. That will conclude the prerequisites. After that, I will move on to writing books about the classic econometric models for time series forecasting and the books about derivatives trading. That's the update I wanted to give you about this matter. On another topic, I've been thinking about creating a series of free courses to put here on the channel to cover the basic knowledge about trading that others still charge for. For example, candlestick patterns, technical indicators, Elliott Wave Theory, Fibonacci tools, and all this surface knowledge about the markets. I think it's important to understand exactly how these things work and their disadvantages as well. There are still too many people charging for these ideas on the internet, and I think that's unfair because this type of information will not necessarily give you the tools to trade well. So I will create one free course for each one of them and put here on the channel. I would like to know what you think about that, so please leave your detailed feedback below regarding that matter. On a third note, I'm starting to develop a series of indicators based on actual science about the market, unlike the other indicators of technical analysis, and also some strategies attached to these indicators. Many people complain that they have difficulty understanding the context of the market and they, that, 
and that they just want to trade with setups. I tell them that you cannot trade with just setups unless you solve a small list of other problems first. So I've been thinking about the solution to these problems in a way that allows people to trade with sophisticated setups in a realistic way. This creates problems of its own. And I still think that market logic apprehension is imperative. But I also understand that some people have a tremendous difficulty with that. In summary, I wanted you to know that I'm working hard on all of these problems. I also want to thank you for the positive feedback I've been receiving here in the channel and by email. Every day I receive messages from people who are happy with what they are learning in my courses, and that's really satisfying to me. For the new people that have recently arrived in the channel and want to learn the good side of trading, I encourage you to check out my trading courses. You can find more information about them in my website fractalflowpro.com in the links available in the video description. All six courses deal with different facets of price action. In the website, you will also be able to see a wall of testimonials from people who already went through the courses. And you can also see the positive feedback I receive in all my videos here on YouTube. So I think that's it for this video. I really hope you can give me a detailed feedback on these matters I talked about here so I can point to the optimal solutions. If you wish to support the channel, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, activate the notifications and leave your feedback below. Thank you for watching and take care.